trending news. Tension in Imo State as another priest is kidnapped and Nandi Kanu sent strong warning to all Igbos. Wow. In a section with the Northern community leaders, the governor had reiterated that Imo State is where the Northerners reside and do that business. Therefore, nobody can send them away from the state. He urged them to stay in their houses and defend themselves, while also protecting their household as Imo State remains their home. The Northern community leaders in Imo State had paid a courtesy, a courtesy visit to Hope Zodema to reportedly show their support for him, despite recent attacks targeted at sections of the community in some areas of the state. Recall that a few weeks ago, some members of the community were reportedly murdered in cold blood by some unknown gunmen who have now gone on to commit other atrocities in Imo State. The newly appointed ESCC chairman, Abdul Sarak Bawa, has now emphasized that its administration in the economy and financial crime condition would fight issues pertaining in corruption while strictly following guidelines and rules stated by the Constitution. The above statement was made by Bawa when he was on an official visit to the Kano State Zone of the Commission. He emphasized that the only thing that distinguishes the EFCC from other agencies charged with law enforcement is that the Commission strictly adheres to the rule of law. The new charge by Bawa is coming after his predecessor and was accused of constantly engaging in social media trials with other allegations of flagrant disrespect for the rule of law leveled against him before his removal months ago. The governors of the five southern, southeastern states are occurring currently holding a meeting in Imo State with reports suggesting that the key agenda of the meetings is to discuss to discuss pressing issues in the region. With regards to the constantly rising state of insecurity in the country after pockets of attack launched in Imo State and Evo State by bandits and another group, another group with an unknown identity. identity. This is coming after the Imo State Governor Ok Zodima had attributed the unrest in the state to political enemies. The Nigerian police police force insisting that IPOP was behind the attacks, and Namdi Kanu, the leader of the proscribed indigenous people of Biafra and ESN dropping several inciting statements against the government via its social media page. It is hoped that the outcome of the meetings would be on that, it will be on that, that would combat the insecurity being suffered by the state in the region. Hmm. The tension in Imo State also continues to increase as another priest of the Roman Catholic Church has been kidnapped by suspected ex by suspected ki kidnappers who reportedly ambushed his vehicle while he was on transit in the state. The new attack on Reverend Father Izu Messel is coming after the kidnapped and subsequent freedom of an auxiliary bishop of the church in Oweri, the Bishop Moses Chikwe. The recent attack happened at Okigwe while the Reverend was on the transit to, en to Enugu from Owe at night. The leader of the proscribed indigenous people of Biafra and the Eastern Security Network has taken to his social media, social media Andu, to send a strong message to the Igbos in the southeast concerning the activities of terrorists and it's men 
in the region. According to Mazin Abdikano, some killer ex-men have begun to kidnap innocent citizens in Hihala and Uzubulu, two notable communities in Anambra State. Namdikano further revealed that the assass assailants had arrived the region with over 30 Ilios vehicles to allegedly launch violence in the region. Thank you viewers for your love for listening to this news. Hmm. I think these people are full of puppets. The evil people should take uh, should take on proactive measures and push the people out of the of them or out from them. If you push them away because they don't deserve to, to be with them. They don't deserve, deserve to be in the in, in the in the in the they don't deserve to be among them. Namdi Khan should be careful. Fine, Ibos, they need self uh, they need self de uh, defense as we speak. They need self defense. Now, I think Nigeria is today without an effective government. Because if there's an effective government, Nigerian citizens wouldn't have been so much stressing themselves on how to tackle this issue of insecurity in this country. That is it. So, that is all. I don't have much to emphasize on this news, but we have heard what this is all about. May God strengthen us as we fight for our people. And bless Namdi Khan for the newly outfit that he just organized to protect the lives of the South Western and South Eastern and also the lives of other unknown on or other un, uh, unknown persons or unknown people and people from other tribes as well. So viewers, your comment concerning this news we very much appreciated. Don't hesitate to drop your comment below the comment box. Click on the subscription button as well as the bell button for more updates whenever I upload new videos. Thank you.